I wouldn't change anything about the way I'm wired. At times it's like super frustrating and I wish that I could just have a quiet and confident mind all the time, but that's just not how it works. Just doing everything I can every day to control what I can control and like use the tools I have is all I can ask of myself and then go out there and have fun and race my bike. My relationship with the sport of cycling is like a lot more healthy now. It's funny because people say that you don't learn very much from winning bike races. You learn the most when you don't win, which I disagree with that because I think I learned the most from Jingle Cross World Cup last year when I won. It was the best day ever, but it was also like a huge defining moment for me mentally because I had wanted to do that for so, win a World Cup for so long. I'd been on a handful of podiums. And when I won, it was like not at all how I thought it would feel, like totally the opposite. I had had depressive episodes before, but that was like the beginning of the worst one I've had so far. That was a horrible three months, like totally dark, but super great. Like I want to go back and change it at all, which makes me kind of like scared to say because it's not fun. But it really got me to like where I am right now in terms of my mental state, my headspace. No, it's a rap song. <laughs> that win, while it put me in a very dark hole, it made me step back and be like, well, that wasn't at all how I had envisioned it would be. So now I need to ask myself, why am I doing this? Why do I want to win? Why do I like to race my bike? If winning isn't how I thought it would be, well then I need to figure out why I need to do it for a more healthier reason. I've been working with my sports psychologist now for four years. Her name is Kate. Well, I think at the time I was still very immature in the sense that I didn't understand how important the psychological state is when it comes to sport. Like I just, I, I was still naive, I guess maybe, or I just thought it was all about like how fast you can pedal a bike. And when I started to ask questions about like, this isn't normal the way I'm feeling, with, with not really re even related to sport, but just in terms of my depression, like this isn't normal and I'm starting to get to a point where I can't handle it anymore, like I need someone to help me, <laughs> is when I found her. The whole depression thing has taken her and I a long time to figure out, or it's taken me a long time to feel like she's actually helping me with it. And I think that maybe because I wasn't fully able to understand like what is going on in my mind and, and what I actually need help with. And I, I think it took me a long time to get to a point where I'm like, okay, I need to be vocal about what I'm feeling because if that's the only way that I'm going to be able to be helped. Last season was a big one in terms of figuring things out and finding out really who I am and I don't want to say issues but yeah I guess they're the issues that I have mentally that hold me back from being a human being that I'm proud of and also that hold me back from being an athlete that I'm proud of and just realizing like I have this baggage stuff in my head like I have these mental things that are super annoying inside my head and I'm sure everyone does um, have it to one extent or another but like I they're not gonna go away I just need to learn how to manage them and that was I think my biggest thing is like yes I train super hard on the bike but I need to train twice as hard with my headspace as I do on the bike in order to like feel like it's even from now on the biggest competitor I'll ever have, as long as I'm racing, is between my, my ears. Like my, my, my mind is like, and it's frustrating, like super frustrating, but I, I realize it now and I think that's a big step forward that my mind is like for sure the only thing holding me back and I need to work like twofold at it to like have my hard physical work feel like it can sh shine through. For me, not being able to say it out loud was partly because I didn't understand what I was feeling and I thought that it was normal, everyone feels that way. And then the other was 
a feeling of like, well, yeah, I can't have weaknesses, or I, I should be able to figure this out. I'm, I can't like ask for help because I don't want to lose my spot on the team, or like I can't admit I have a problem, or you know, kind of thing. You have to be tough, and you have to look like you're, you have your act together because I have this awesome opportunity that you don't want to have weaknesses because there's plenty of girls that could be in your spot kind of thing, you know? That mindset and that approach to it had let it get so bad that it was like, okay, we can't hold ourselves together anymore, or I cannot hold myself together anymore. Being okay as a human is much more important than having a spot on a team. <laughs> but thankfully, I'm in an environment that understands and, is, and was ve is very patient with me and very accommodating and like is there to support me. So I'm very lucky in that sense. I've been on Cannondale now for 10 years. I've been with Stu's program. And the past three years, I've had the opportunity to do the entire World Cup season. The team has allowed me and believed in me to that I was at the level enough where we could travel back and forth. The first year I did it, it was all right. Second year I did it, I finished second overall. And then last year I finished fourth overall. But going back and forth is just kind of demoralizing. This year, we are going over for the entire season, and I think my journey and my trajectory so far in the sport has been slow, but I think mentally I needed to figure everything out before we go over there and like fully commit. It's a lot of logistics. It's not just me, it's my mechanic, it's the team resources, it's my husband. So I need to make sure that I'm in a super solid place and I've never felt comfortable or even really considered it before. But um, last December, it was kind of when I was like in my low spot and kind of coming back up and trying to figure out my why again. I realized like coming over to Europe and being based there for the whole season is like what's going to fuel my fire. In order for me to live the life that I know I can live and live the life that I'd like to, like which is being a mindful, present, and happy human being, like genuinely happy and present, which is a big one for me because I also feel anxiety a lot of the times about like really silly things, <laughs> but it's just there. I guess it's the way I'm wired. So I've learned too that like if I'm being present, I don't feel anxious because the only things that make me feel anxious are in the past or in the future. So if I'm present, the anxiety is not present. Realizing that has been huge for me too because it's helped me like in my normal life with my husband and with my dog and, and my sister, like my, 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 my parents, like my relationships with the ones close to me have improved a lot as well, which that really doesn't have anything to do with racing bikes, but in a way it does because if I'm happy and like have solid relationships in my everyday life, then that's like putting me in a better headspace for when we have to go race. Like there's not stress or other distractions and other thoughts in my head that I'm thinking about or giving attention to that I shouldn't be kind of thing, you know, during that time. When your mind has been so used to be going negative like for 15 years like when you're when you form these habits in your mind for, and you they've just been that's been the way you are it's super hard to change like just like it's so hard and it's so frustrating but it's just that's what we were I was talking about with my with Kate the other day it's like you are winning this battle with your headspace but like it, the headspace is relentless. Like it is going to be very hard and at times it's gonna be exhausting and it's like super frustrating, but you are winning right now. And that's, I think the theme for this season is like, this is the thing that I am trying to beat in order to achieve these goals on paper.